to. Is this not the same uh, Rufai Oseni? Same Rufai Oseni that was caught uh, driving against traffic. I think he drove on uh, BRT Lane. I think that was last year or two years ago or three years ago. I don't know. Somewhere in Lagos. Rufai Oseni, same guy. He drove on BRT Lane, which is wrong. And when officials caught him, instead of apologizing, you know, and admitting that he was wrong, what was he saying? He was saying that he, he was shouting, do you know who I am? I want to call, I'm going to call the governor of Lagos State. Is it not the same Rufai Oseni? <laughs> same Rufai Oseni that is insulting people on national TV, all in the name of, of doing journalism. My friend, shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down, I'm talking to you. You don't have no rights. You don't have any moral justification to, to, to talk where men, people with integrity are talking. They really... I mean, you're talking nonsense on, on national TV. You're a very disrespectful person. You have no respect for the laws of this country. In fact, if somebody like you becomes president, you, believe me, you'll wipe out Nigerians. Are you not the same person that was caught driving on BRT lane? You could not even apologize. If not because somebody had a video, a video was made. That was the only time when you saw the video, that was when you came on, on national TV to apologize. If there was no video, what would have happened? This is what you do. Just imagine the other ones that we don't, we, we've not seen before. How can you invite somebody? I don't, who taught you journalism? Believe me, who taught you journalism? The first thing they should have taught you is to respect your guests. If you have a guest and you're talking in a particular manner and the guest does not like it, first thing you do is to apologize to that guest. Make the guest feel comfortable. Then you continue with your question. How can you tell a guest that if the guest is not comfortable, the guest is free to walk out, walk out of the studio, and you call yourself a journalist? What nonsense? What kind of taught you journalism, Rufai? I am talking to you, Rufai Oseni. You're not better than anybody out there. You're a very disrespectful person, and you should go and learn journalism. You are insulting people on national TV. The video is there on the internet. It's there. Somebody can call it up. Call up that video and post it, and you will see who Rufai Oseni is. Same Rufai Oseni that is insulting people, acting like God on national TV, making your guests very uncomfortable. You inform like you're, you're now you get Nigeria. You are the most concerned citizen. You are more concerned than all of us. My friend, shut up. Shut up, Rufai Oseni. I'm talking to you. You have no moral justification to talk to anybody on national TV that way because you're not better than any Nigerian. You are not. If nobody will tell you, I will tell you to your face, Rufai Oseni, you are, do, you are getting it wrong. That is not journalism. You are even laughing. I saw you on, I watched this video. You are even laughing at your guests. What, what rubbish? Who taught you? Where did you, where did you learn your own journalism? Which, which country? Where? Huh? You're a very disrespectful person, Rufai Oseni. You're getting it wrong. And I'll tell you to your face. Listen to me. Jagaban. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the president of Nigeria. That's the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, okay? GCFR. He is the president of Nigeria, whether you like it or not. He is our president. You must respect him, okay? Give him the respect that he deserves. If you feel like being president, you have the next four years. Go and buy form and contest. And of course, President Tinubu will defeat you. The man just came in. He's been there for just months. Give him time. Rome was not built in a day. You're not better. You, Rufai Oseni, I'm talking to you. You're not better than any other Nigerian out there. Ordinary to apologize on, on, because you drove on BLT lane. You couldn't do it. You were shouting on the road. If not, that camera caught you. Shouting that you want to call the governor of Lagos State. So how are you better? Stop it. Have respect for our president. And the man deserves to be given time to work. Rome was not built in a day. He's been there for a couple of months. He needs time to fix the country.